Hey guys, welcome back to another SERP Wiz report. Head over, head over to SERPWiz.com to get your free instantly actionable SEO audit. We'll get it to you in less than 37 seconds. So today we're back and in SERP Wiz reports and we're talking um, again about the area of the first contentful paint. So um, you might have seen this um, higher above your report depending upon uh, you know what your recommendations were. But if we go to the top, ultimately you know, it marks a time at which the first text or image is painted, basically you know, displayed. Um, on the site. I say displayed, which implies that it's visual, but it's not. It's when the first part of the page, whether it's, um, you know, uh, images, whether it's CSS classes or otherwise basically loads and you can't, it doesn't mean you necessarily see it. Seeing it would be your first meaningful paint, uh, which would be, um, ba 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 ba. Uh, where is the first contentful, largest contentful, um, first meaningful paint. There you go. So, um, which is um, primary content of a page is visible. So today we're talking about the um, first contentful paint from a 3D perspective. So basically what this really refers to is how does your site actually load or how does performance change when you're loading on a slower network? So although we've got, depending upon where in the world you are, 5G rolling out, there's still you know 3G and 4G and, and maybe even slower than that in some cases, I'm not really sure. But basically this refers to you know how does site speed change rather the FCP change when you're on a slower device so something to you know really consider and think about and if we open up the um, I won't go too much into this because the basic rule of thumb is that you know the faster you are the faster you know everything is on, on different networks and um, you know we're we're bloody slow if I'm being honest we're, we're, we're ridiculously slow it's something that we're working upon right now that's for pearllemon.com um, but as it says it takes it's how long it takes the browser to render the first piece of DOM content um, Dom, I've got to remember the meaning for this. So let me just Google it again. Dom content loaded meaning uh, is uh, when the initial event fires when the initial HTML document is completely loaded and passed, um, and um, loading the document document some, something something. Um, but as you can see here, um, when the initial the Dom content loaded event fires when the initial HTML document is completely loaded and passed without waiting for star sheets, images, and subframes to finish loading. Um, so that's that part there. And um, when, when you're on a 3G connection, of course, it's going to um, it's going to change quite significantly. So um, there's different ways to improve your overall performance, and it really relates to speed optimization in general. Um, but what we'll do is we'll head over to this site. So I found it, and it was the impact of 3G versus 4G connections on user experience across countries. And this is 2017, but there's some useful stuff here. I'm gonna basically show you the headlines. By moving from a 3G to a 4G connection, the site experience benchmark for Google Co.in improves by 15%. So across the board, if you're on 3G, of course you're gonna get a slower browsing experience. But you know, 3G penetration um, in, in a lot of countries is probably you know prevalent, so it is a consideration. State of 3G and 4G across 72 countries. My 3G is not your 3G. SEBIG for Google in 3G is 30% worse in Venezuela than Sweden. So it's considering um, that also, my 3G is not your 3G. Um, state of 4G across countries. Um, so basically, um, here's some of the key takeaways. Uh, latency and bandwidth for internet connection is a very important in your website. Um, you can, um, and is there anything that's actionable here? Monitoring tools like Calibre and Speed Curve can help you understand your environments better. Um, and, and, and fundamentally, it's really a case of doing the same things as we've been discussing throughout the report as to how to um, improve it. So um, I think that that's everything uh, on that on that front there. Um, and uh, yeah, we just move on to the next one. All right, cheers, guys.